Hello, 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 my stars and galaxies. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Terran, okay? Today, we are doing a reading for Scorpio. Scorpio, it's all about you. It's all about the Scorpios today, okay? Before we get started, make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, alright? Please note that the Terran Instagram page, Terran's phone number, my cash app, and PayPal is all in the description box below so you know exactly where to go if you're ready for a personal reading, okay? Personal reading, okay? Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, okay, um, what you call it, uh, just, you know, hit me up on my business phone number, my business um, Instagram page, you know, just let me know that way um, so you guys don't have to be confused on how to contact me, and yeah, so-and-so, that'll... That'll just, you know, we'll do that, okay? Um, also, do not send payment, all right, without, um, conf like, without, you know, setting up your appointment, okay? Got to be organized with this, all right? So, please do not send payment without, you know, setting up your appointment. We have to set up your appointment first, you know what I'm saying, guys? Come on, come on, okay? So, yeah, we have to do that first. Um, otherwise, you know... If it's like a donation, then that's fine. You know, it's fine if it's a donation or something like that. But yeah, just please don't do that. Okay, please no. No, I, I, I need it to be organized. Okay. Then you got membership. Okay. Membership is available on my channel as well. You know, just go ahead, help yourself to, you know, whatever membership you would like to participate in. Like pick from and stuff like that, etc., etc. Right. And, you know, just do whatever you want to do. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo. you got the Starlight package, the Galaxy package, and the Universe package. Two ninety nine, four ninety nine, and nine ninety nine in that order. Okay, so like I said, pick whichever one better suits your budget. Okay, <sighs> is that all I wanted to say? I think so. Yeah, I think so. So we're just gonna go ahead get into it. Um, let me just burn this sage real quick, y'all. Yes, we gotta burn this sage more often, y'all. All right, we gotta burn this sage more. Ain't no point. Hold on. Ain't no point having sage if you don't even use it. Okay. Gotta burn up this sage. Ooh, which, which one's the strong one? Oh, they're both weak. Oh, I could have went either way. That's alright. I just needed to burn a little bit. Okay. I just needed to burn a little bit so we can get a little bit of smoke up in here. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Just, you know, you got some cheap sages that smell like something that's genuinely on fire, but no, this has a bit. It's a, got a smoke. It's got a little bit of a smoky smell, but you know, it's you, you smell something different in it. Okay, you smell something genuine. You smell something pure in it. It's a it's a slightly sweet smell. It's sweeter than regular smoke. It's got a sweeter smell. That's how you know it's been real sage not no cheap sage or just leaves and sticks that decided to pass off for a sage people will do that okay but yeah scorpio all right we're gonna go ahead and get into your reading all right I'm gonna go ahead you know just let this smoke out let this burn out all right okay hope everyone's having a good morning noon and night hope all is well but if all is not well, I really do apologize. Hopefully your situation will get better. Everybody, I hope my reading will help your situation get better, okay? But either way, I do hope it gets better. Okay, let's see what we got. I don't know what to say. Oh, let me focus this. You guys see it. I don't know what to say. All right? Somebody does not know how to what to say to you, okay? They are confused on how to talk to you. They're not sure what to say to you, okay? Maybe you guys but ended badly, like you guys ended on, you know, rough terms. Or you guys just don't have, don't have that much communication towards each other to actually have good words to say or actually have a coherent, a coherent paragraph, okay? Maybe there's not enough connection to actually, you know, have a decent relationship, um, a decent conversation, Okay? So there has to be more one-on-one -on -one time, okay? Or if you guys ended on bad terms, say for example, you guys ended your connection on bad terms, then, you know, they still had some things that they wanted to say to you, get off their chest, but they didn't get the chance, really. Oop, nope, I'm getting ahead of myself, right? I want to
wanted to get in deeper into that card. So, right, so we're going to flash this out. We're going to shuffle this out. And scratch my nose. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Ten of Swords in the reverse. They didn't want it to end. Okay. They didn't want the connection to end. Okay. They still wanted to have some kind of um, communication with you. Okay. They feel like it ended too soon. It all ended too soon. Okay. So even if you wanted it to end, Scorpio, even if you didn't want that like, communication with that person no more, they still wanted to like be involved. They still wanted to be in your life. They still wanted to just be there you understand that they still wanted to just be there they still wanted to um just be involved in your life and really just have the chance or the opportunity to say to say the things that they never got to say or just you know get things off their chest okay they just wanted to get some things off their chest they just wanted to be um more open but they feel like none of their chance is taken away they don't know what to say now okay but they're reminiscing they don't they didn't want it to end okay Regardless of who said what, who said this, and blah, blah, blah. No one, they did not want it to end. Okay? They did it. Right? So whatever they told you before, it was a lie. Okay? They did not want it to end. They want, they at least wanted to say what they needed to say first. Okay? They at least wanted to say these last few things before y'all went y'all separate ways. The Ten of Cups in the Reverse. Okay? Well, the Ten of Cups in the Reverse, they do miss you. Okay? They do miss you. They do miss the moments that y'all had together, okay? Yeah, y'all had your good moments, and then y'all had your bad moments, okay? But either way, it was still your moments, okay? Those were your moments, guys. That was y'all's moment. It was, you know, the good and the bad. That was still, like, your memories, you know, your times and stuff like that. Like, it was still yours, okay? And they missed that, okay? They totally missed that. And whether or not they told you this to your face, they miss it. Okay, they miss it. They miss it, and they want to um, at least reach out one more time. Okay, but maybe some, maybe they're not gonna have the bravery to do that. Okay, they're not gonna have the bravery to um, just be like, "Hey, I want to talk to you." Blah blah blah. Sometimes you might have to you might have to take the first step. Okay, but I'm, I feel like you probably won't take the first step, step, Scorpio. But like I said, this is just their energy. They don't know what to say. They still wanted to communicate some things to you. Okay. The King of Pentacles, right? They did appreciate your person, you as a person, like you, your personality, okay? They did appreciate how you treated them. They did appreciate, you know, how well you put energy into a relationship, you know, in spite, in, like, in, in, even in times where they were being an asshole, right? Even in times where they weren't acting right, you still had their back, okay? You still, you know, put up with them, right? You were still putting up with them, okay? And now they, they just miss that. They don't, they don't miss you having to put up with them, but they just miss having you in their presence, okay? They just love being in your presence. They just miss having that one-on-one -on -one with you, okay? That one-on-one -on -one time, they just miss having that with you. We are not right for each other. Okay, Scorpio. You feel like this person was not right for you. You feel like this person, like, it was good at first, but as time went on, it just wasn't it, right? And it's okay to feel like that, okay? It's okay to feel like that, you know? It's very valid, understandable, you know? You feel like a lot of relationships start off good at first, but then, you know, it's just something different, okay? It just means that y'all have gr outgrown each other and it's time to move on, time to move on to bigger things, right? So the Nine of Wands in the reverse, right? Okay? You did try to put effort into the relationship but you were just really tired okay you got fed up okay you were really fed up right not like it's not even like this person was the worst partner on earth it's just that you really got fed up the relationship you got tired of carrying the relationship maybe or you got tired of um um holding the relationship pushing the relationship forward you know and you feel like you weren't getting that same energy back 
okay? You feel like you weren't getting that same energy back. So you had to step back, really take care of yourself, right? Now, even if this person does miss you, even if this person does miss your, like, you guys being in a relationship, you still have to be mindful of your mental health, okay? And if the relationship was affecting your mental health, right, then it's not worth it, okay? It's not worth it because no relationship should risk up your mental health. Okay? It's not worth it. It's not worth it if that's the cost. The king of wands in the reverse. Right? You also both were looking for control of the relationship. Okay? It's not like y'all were trying to boss, like be like boss, like boss around, right? But you were still looking for stability and control in the relationship. Like, not, like, over-controlling, like, oh, you do this, you do that. You just wanted to make sure that the relationship stayed afloat, okay? But, see, they were trying to control the relationship just to control the relationship. You were just trying to take the relationship by the horns and keep it afloat, right? But you guys just had different ideas. You guys just had different mindsets, okay? You were both fighting for leadership or fighting for some kind of control, trying to stay stable, right? But you're, you guys were not, like, you know putting your ideas together it was just backfiring okay the plan was just backfiring and it was not working out the seven of pentacles all right if it felt since it fell apart right it's okay if it fell apart like yeah maybe it sucks okay but it also means that this person was just not supposed to be in your vision Okay, this just means that this person was not meant to be in your vision, not meant to be in your dream, not to meant to be in your life, all right, at least not permanently, okay, you know, if the universe has better plans for you and this person is just not involved in it and that's okay, I hope you're happy, okay, so at least they're happy for you, right, at least they're happy for you, they're not trying to put no voodoo crap on you, right, at least they're not trying to put no voodoo on you or any witchcraft or anything like that. They're genuinely happy for you, right? Yes, they miss you. Even in the BS that they did. Because at least you were somebody, you know, and at least you showed them love, right? They still miss you, okay? They still miss having you in their life, you know? They're gonna, things were said, mistakes were made, and et cetera, et cetera, but they still are too... <gasps> Oh, excuse me, y'all. It's late, so I reserve the right to yawn. But I'm going to go to bed right after this, and I'm done with this video. But yeah, um, what do you call it? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. They're happy for you, but at least they're not doing no witchcraft, right? You know, they're handling it with grace, which is very, very rare, okay? You got to admit, that's a lot that's rare, okay? So at least they're not, like, stalking you at your door, stepping, et cetera, et cetera, right? But you still got to, you know, if you guys still want that closure, if you guys still want to hit each other up and communicate, then feel free to do so, right? The five of wands in the reverse, okay? Then in a way, with the five of wands in the reverse, this thing was, this, this relationship was kind of like relatively easy, okay? It wasn't difficult to get out of, really. Like, you know, you're trying to break up with a crazy girlfriend or, 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 or erratic boyfriend or anything like that. You know, or somebody who's trying to trap you in a relationship. You don't have no... This this, this person is not really like that. Okay? Yeah? It's just that they weren't... Maybe they got... Maybe communication was off, or the effort was off, the effort balance was off. Or maybe just the way they were treating you, and like, the, the, the specific needs that you were looking for in a relationship was not met. So you're just like, eh, you know? But whatever the reason is, at least you're not all crazy like, you know, any other people would have. You know, they're just dealing with regrets. Maybe they're being petty about it. Maybe they're being a good person about it. Be like, oh, I, I hope you're the best. I hope you, I wish you the best in life. You know, da da da, da. have a good life and da, da 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 You know, you got that. I hope you're happy. Right? This could also be coming from you, Scorpio. You hope they're happy. You hope they're happy with their life and et cetera, et cetera. Right? But at least there's no bitter venom in the situation. Right? Knight of Pentacles. Okay. I almost said in the reverse, but then I looked at it, I was like, oh, no, it's not in the reverse. Okay. So, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. All right? You did have trust for them. Okay? You did have love for them. Like I said, the, moment, the moments were not all bad. Okay? Not for y'all. Yeah, you know, there were some BS there here and there. Arguments, stuff for said, and stuff like that, right? But y'all managed to pull through up until now. Okay, y'all managed to pull through. 
right now i think it's just best that you guys just you know stay separated see other people it's only your choice if you guys want to be friends if y'all want to stay friends and etc etc that's up to y'all you know it's up to y'all if y'all want to stay friends okay but at least you know they didn't do anything petty after the separation like oh they to gossiping about you you know um, um um trying to put witchcraft on you and stuff like that like they still want to keep that thin line of trust that they you may still have for them okay and the tower in the reverse okay with the tower in the reverse okay there was no point in holding things together if it was all falling apart it's fall everything was falling apart quicker than you can hold it together okay and you know if it ever gets to that point that just means that the relationship just needs to end okay that's just what it means some people really try to hold on to a relationship, but at that point, you're just doing more harm than good, okay? To your emotional and mental health. So that's why you have to leave. That's why you have to separate, you know, because it's doing more harm than good. But, you know, it's a good thing, um, Scorpio, that, you know, you're doing the right thing. You're doing what you got to do, making sure you're taking care of your mental health. And that this person also take care, takes care of theirs. And I wish you guys the best in life. I wish you guys that you are all right, right? You guys are doing good. Right? And just keep loving yourself. Keep honoring yourself. Everybody is a work in progress until the day they die, okay? So, yeah, just keep doing your own thing, right, Scorpio? And make sure that you look out for people who are actually on your side, who are actually treating you with the respect and love that you really deserve, okay? So, Scorpio, I hope this did resonate with you. I hope this helped in any way. But if it did not resonate with you, I really do apologize. Hopefully, the next Scorpio reading will. But in the meantime, don't make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, all right? This has been Universe Terry. Namaste.